Hello, friends and enemies, any kind mothers. I'm going to read a little bit from an article called The History of Buddhism in India. It's on the Wikipedia Encyclopedia. Now we know that Buddhism arose in India. Buddhism is an ancient Indian religion which arose in and around the ancient kingdom of Magadha. Magadha. Now in Bihar, India. And it's based on the teachings of the Gautama Buddha. Gautama Buddha. Gautama Buddha. Who was deemed a Buddha, awakened one. The awakened one. Buddhism spread outside of Magadha, starting in the Buddha's lifetime. With the reign of the Buddhist Mauryan Emperor Ashoka, the Buddhist community split into two branches, the Mahasanghika, no, Mahasanghika, and the Staviravada. Staviravada. That's spelled S T H A V I R A V is Victor. A with a overline. D a. Stavidavada. The prism is the Mahasanghika. Gika. Gi is with a G H. Mahasanghika. There's some two out of three letter A's that have the overline over them. Mm. Ma. It's assume it makes it longer. That, then it would be Maha Sangika. I'm guessing how it's pronounced. So these two branches came out. Each of which spread throughout India and split into numerous subsects, subsects. In modern times, two major branches of Buddhism exist. The Theravada in Sri Lanka and Southeast Asia, and the Mahayana throughout the Himalayas and East Asia. East Asia would include China, Korea, Japan, Mongolia, Japan, the Himalayas, Vietnam, Singapore, Malaysia, mm. Mm. Ah. okay. The Buddhist tradition of Vajrayana 
is sometimes classified as a part of Mahayana Buddhism, but some scholars consider it to be a different branch altogether. Okay. Okay. Uh, it goes on to read to talk about. I can see it. Census? That's kind of interesting. So, Buddhism arose in India, but And India is what, one billion people or close to that? Around there. According to the 2011 census, Buddhists make up only 0.7% of India's population, or 8.4 million individuals. So, traditional Buddhists are less than 13%, and the Navayana Buddhists, that means the converted Buddhists or the Abedkarite, no, Abedkarite, I'm guessing, or Neo Buddhists in India comprise more than 87% of Indian Buddhist community, according to the 2011 census of India. And, and according to that census, the largest concentration of Buddhism is in Maharashtra with six million. That's decent. Where 70% of the total build Buddhists in India reside. Oh. There's some Buddhists in Ladakh, in Sikkim, in Arunachal Pradesh. Those are separate states. That they're in the Indian subcontinent. And they have a noticeable size of Buddhist community population. Uh, okay. So, in general, or as as the basic knowledge, it is known that Buddha was born to a Kapila Vastu. Kapila Vastu. Kapila Vastu. I'm guessing. Uh, head or king, whatever. Kapilimashtu is a state. I wonder if it exists. No. No, it's a city. Kapilimashtu was an ancient city in the Indian subcontinent, which was the capital of the clan of the Shakyas. King Shudodana and Queen Maya are believed to be have been, have lived at Kapila Vashti, as did their son, Prince Siddhartha, 
Gadama, until he left the palace at the age of 29. So he was born to the head of the city of Kapilavash. And so he was born to the Shakya clan, republic. The king was named Shugana. So the Buddha, before being considered a Buddha, was Prince Siddhartha Gautama. And he left his princely life and became a wandering ascetic. Sort of a monk. He employed shramana practices in a specific way. Ascetic practices. Denouncing. He eventually denounced the extreme asceticism. And so con concentration meditation, which were shramanic practices. Instead, he propagated a middle way between the extremes of self-indulgence and self-mortification, in which self-restraint and compassion are the essential themes. So, 